Elle wondered how it all came to this. How did she end up here? How had her life led to this moment? Ten years ago, she got a summer job in her summer break from university. Her friend got her a part-time job at a coffee shop. She'd only been in Ravens Creek a short time, a couple of months, when the apocalypse hit. She lost her friend fairly early on. She was at a fully packed bar when it hit. She didn't stand a chance. Elle managed to get by, going from place to place, never really staying too long in any one place. She only met Joe's vow pure chance as she was leaving a block of flats. He was the first survivor she'd seen in about a week, the first one that seemed eager to help. She didn't trust him, obviously. How could you, after first meeting someone? But her chance to survive with someone else were better on her own. After Joseph had left her for dead and she managed to escape the horde in the block of flats, she ventured south into the residential area. She knew the population there was lower and she hoped there would be less zombies. It was still a struggle, but she managed to get by. The only thing that broke up the deathly quiet during the day and the night was the random gunfire that would happen. Usually these were short-lived, a couple of shots and then silence. She never knew whether the survivor had been successful in fending off the zombies or whether the lack of shots was due to them being overcome. Hello my fellow spuds and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with L. Sullivan. So, we are back. We've looted quite a lot. Not a huge amount, but it's enough to get by. We've found a fair amount of food that should help last us a couple of extra days. We found a variety of different bits and bobs. However, none of which is really going to help us crafting wise or be able to survive long term. So, the plan for this episode is that we are going to try and get to the lockups just down the road in the hopes of finding some decent tools like maybe propane welders mask that sort of thing so that we can get more into hydrocraft the crafting side of things and all will be good oh back to a uh, old error zombie maybe i should just get out of the gun we haven't really used the gun at all i think we should probably just put him out of his misery there we go <laughs> okay he's gone no more error zombie <laughs> oh okay it looks like we might have alerted a few more though I think the listener zombie got them all involved. Oh dear. Right, you've got another hammer. I don't want that. I want your hard hat as well. And earbuds, let's disassemble them. Ooh, another MRE. How did I not notice that one? That's amazing. Okay, let's go along the roadside this time, just so that we can clear out any zombies along the way. Right. I'm a little bit concerned because chances are there's probably going to be quite a few zombies near this storage lot. There tends to be quite a few. Oh, God, another wrestler one. Uh, okay. The little building site, quite a few random crates and things. Okay, we've got a few zombies here, though. Another child Z. Cat Z. Here's a magazine to operate. Uh, do I take it? It's got a sight. Might as well. Um, that's decent as well. Contains a magazine. Okay, sure. Fine. Right then. Let's have a little look. What have we got here? Wrestlers eat feral. Two wrestlers. There's a few down there. Kind of feel like I have to take these on. Yep, take the feral on first. Nice. Okay, just take them on a bit at a time. Ones are these. Zombie, zombie. There's one wrestler. That's good. I only want the one. There we go. MRE. Take it. Come on. Hurry up. That's a fly knife. Work gloves. Cool. Like trash, I'll put on the floor because I'm not too sure what we do with them. We'll go to the storage lots first. There's also this mechanic shop just here. Might have good loot in it. Uh, we've got these ones down here. Okay, take these ones on. We'll look in the mechanic shop. There might be some decent tools and things in there. Then we'll go down to there. Ooh. Okay. Contains magazine. Okay, that's something calculator again a little bit close to getting solar panels <laughs> rambit knife okay i'll take that give him the dollar still don't know what we do with the dollar let's have a little look we can exchange i don't know what this trading post is slot machine yeah or we can get zinc from it apparently i've uh, got some plaster not really needed grinder head presuming that goes on a tool 
cat grinder head to portal mining machine. <laughs> okay, we could just like do do some mining in the backyard. That'd be fun. Go sneaking in case. Performance tire, glass cooler, battery charger. That's insanely useful because most batteries at this point, if not all batteries, are zero. Uh, car battery with clamps. You can build a battery array. How heavy is it? Five. Ooh. Money. Just remember it's there. That's quite heavy. Got some Shelby and stuff we could take with us as well, which is useful. Grapefruit soda. Sounds like quite a few zombies, though. Keep pushing down. Check around the corner quickly to make sure there's not, like, a horde just sat there. There's a single one. If we get out line of sight, we should be fine. Um, how many do we have down here? Not many. I think we could probably get by without killing those ones. Probably should do, but at this point, I'd rather avoid as much combat as possible. Because I'm anticipating there's probably going to be a fair few zombies here. Jesus, here we go. Right, what? You're just a tough one. Okay, come with me. Come on. I'll try and get the key off you. I probably should have done with all of them, but I'd rather do it one at a time. Key. Nice. Okay, here we go. A denim shirt, hard hat. We've got a hard hat, thanks. No. Right, okay, we can unlock this group, so that's something. Uh, there's nothing there. <laughs> Convenient. Copper wire? We get a nicer chair to actually sit on when we do our writing, that would be nice. Ooh. Running machine? Fishing rods? Uh, condition's not great, but, yeah. Ice hockey stick? Empty bucket? What can we do with buckets? Everything, apparently. Okay, we'll take another bucket. <laughs> no, nothing else, really. Okay. Well, we can't unlock this group anyway. Uh, we're gonna need another zombie to lure in. We just need two zombies. One to get into this section and one to get into that section. Are there any open ones on this side? If not, we might need to make one. Yeah, we're gonna need to make one. Okay, right. Get the axe out. Okay, that's a lot of arcade machines. Another one? I can hear one. Damn, no key. At least this is leveling up maintenance, I guess. Damn. Okay, well, at least there's a couple of boxes. Calligraphy. Okay, we can get our unhappiness back a bit, I guess. Ah, still nothing. Okay, we might as well just keep knocking them down. This is nice. We rest up for a bit. Exhausting doing all this. Right, there we go. They're wandering off somewhere. We've got this food market, which can potentially be good loot. This building as well, insanely good from what I remember. Loads and loads and loads of guns. Like, it's a proper survivor storage house. So, potentially lots in there. I remember there being guns, I think, in that one. I think that's a police department. So, yeah, good place to go. Check in these bins. Ooh, it's just a stack of cardboard boxes. It weighs basically nothing. That's amazing storage, so we might as well. Uh, oh, there's a zombie right there. Get him to come in. Come on. Follow me, please. I'm hoping you have a key. <laughs> stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. Key! Thank goodness. Oh, we've got another one. Oh, it's a grabber. Okay, you can come over here, then. Let's start looting this. We should be able to go into all these now. Oh, my goodness. we got friends. Well, uh, if L starts to go a bit crazy, we've got some friends in mannequins there. Okay. Uh, got some roadblocks. Potentially take out the payphones because they offer good electrical skill. Oh, another zombie. Hello. Oh, uh, run. No. Watch, though. Okay, last one on this side. No. Oh, with lid. Gravel bag. Ugh, not really wanted. Ooh, hello. 49 capacity. Seriously? Oh, the weight... Re I'm a okay, I'm just going to take it with us. That's ridiculous. <laughs> We have a generator. Ooh, electrical multi-tool. These are incredibly useful. You can attach, yeah, saw drill head. That's awesome. We've got CPU. No idea what we do with this. Make computer tower. Of course we do. Solder gun might be useful. Insert small battery. Grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. Nice. And we've also got this generator. We can't connect it because we need the electrical professional or whatever, but we know it's there. If we find the uh, Jenny mag, we know we've got one there. Should I just knock down the rest of these? I guess I could do. We've only got four left and then there's a little office. 
A load of benches. Another generator. And our maintenance is going up, so 137 after this. We'll see how much it goes up after we've fully destroyed this garage door. 145, so like five apiece. It's not too bad. But nothing really worth looting. Last one. I have to watch out in case this attracts zombies from over there. Gas mask and them. Okay. Can we put the hand axe away? I don't think we're going to need it out again. There we go. That's some weight back. Okay. Oh, dear. Approach. Okay, let's have a little look. Child, zombie, zombie. Is that a katana? Or a bread knife? I can't quite tell. Whatever the case, these ones should be fairly straightforward to take out. I think it's a katana. It is a katana. Apparently from a well-known franchise. MRE again. God, why do they have so many MREs? I jet the mag. Is decent condition. So might as well take it. Measuring tape. Work gloves again. So we're still after basic tools. Really looting that did nothing. Although I forgot to check out that. The actual uh, office itself. Let's check out the office. And then we'll head back. Box of paper clips. Surprisingly useful. Spent all the telly? I guess we could. Right. We're a little bit sad. Getting a bit drowsy. I think it's time we head back. Not a huge amount of loot. Well, I say that. We got a lot of loot, but... Not much that's particularly useful. Four MREs is really useful, don't get me wrong, but there's not much that, in terms of tools and things, that I was hoping for. These pliers? We maybe. We can dismantle a few bits with that. But I was hoping for stuff like propane torches or, I don't know, sledgehammer or something. So let's head back to base. We'll sleep and, uh, yeah, go from there. I'm going to check out these bins quickly because we found the, the cardboard boxes in there, which is actually a huge find. Uh, garbage bags because i need that for when it rains like this so we can actually get some fresh water because sooner or later we're going to run out of water in our building so i need to find this stuff so we can actually do some proper crafting i know that there is a hardware shop just down the road i was hoping not to have to go there because it is actually at the edge of the actual town center so there will be zombies but at this point we might just have to there we go nice and safe let's uh, unload all the stuff we've got and go to sleep We've got this backpack, which looks incredible. So let's equip that on our back. I don't think we can get attachments for it like we can with the current one we've got. No, we can't. Okay, so Britta's isn't compatible with Authentic Z stuff. But still, this is so much better. Right, we've got these cardboard boxes that we can unstack. 12? Okay, interesting. So you don't place them like you do the vanilla ones. You just drop them. Right, okay. Because technically, that's... 260 odd storage there for 10 of them <laughs> so that's quite cool uh, open the wallet because it says we can open it we got 20 dollar bill oh we'll keep the katana on us just in case something does happen we're already starting to level up in our long blade we're almost level four and i'm guessing the condition on this is yeah it's about two thirds of the way gone but we're at long blade level four so it's nice that we've got another long blade that we can replace with this even if it doesn't last very long it's still pretty cool. All right, it's still raining. Quite heavy. I think it's like a proper storm. This is what we need uh, crafting stuff for, so we can do stuff during uh, storms like this. Carpentry bench, we need carpentry for. Workbench, we need carpentry for. We need carpentry for, for like everything. So maybe that's what we should focus on, is trying to get to that stage, I guess. Yeah, we've got time to kill at the moment, so we might as well. Deconstruct this lamp. We'll deconstruct these tables and we'll just kind of move further down, deconstruct what we can. Just deconstruct all the stuff that's here because there's loads of stuff that we don't actually need. Right, there's quite a few bits we can deconstruct in here, which is nice. Oh, there we go. We're up a level. Uh, what level's that? Three. A bit more to go. Well, we're thinking about it, now we're level three. That means that we can actually make a door, doesn't it? Well, that makes us a little bit safer, at least for the meantime. Right, carpentry door, wooden door. A little bit holy, <laughs> but it'll do. It's functional, and that's the important thing. Yay! There we go, we've got a working door. Right, okay, it's ten past five. We are very, very bored. <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to spend a little bit of time outside. I don't want to spend too long because I don't want to get soaked, but I think it's important that we don't get too depressed. And the longer we're outside, the less bored we should be. And that's saw on that zombie, seriously? That's good. Yeah, we're going to want to kind of clear as many as possible from around this area, just so we know that we're reasonably safe. 
Okay, we've got a few coming. Naked zombie with a <laughs> you're a naked zombie but you've got a book where were you storing that book hmm okay that's a lot it doesn't look like there's many to be particularly afraid of the main concern is that we're getting a bit tired so it's going to take longer to kill them doesn't look like you can push fat zombies over so that's some further research useful seriously another mre can we wear that on our front the fanny pack no it does that can we wear that on our back there we go we can wear them cool oh we can wear both nice until that take the dollar i right, got one more Ooh, box of rounds nice okay we're only a little bit sad we're still just moist we're not wet surprisingly i thought we would be soaked by now but apparently not if we try looting this little house, we might as well. I mean, if we can secure it, then we can deconstruct some stuff and uh, potentially get our carpentry up to level four. Screecher. Okay, we're going to want to leave fairly quickly then. Presumably that alerts the others. How loud is that? Is that going to attract them all from ages away? Whatever the case, I don't really want to hang around to find out. But at least we properly observed one. That was definitely a zombie that did that before. Right, I think what we're going to do then is we'll pop into this house. We'll deconstruct as much stuff as possible. There we go. Right, up to level four. Right, we're exhausted. Super late. Right, get into the base, go to sleep. Right, guys, I'm back. So it's been actually a little while since I went away. A couple of things which I found out just while I was playing around. This can attach to your belt, which I think is just amazing. So let's just do that. Attach to our left belt. The other thing, which I completely forgot about, books in Hydrocraft, you can remove the covers of books and you can find out what the books are actually about. So there we go, we got two. We got biodiesel textbook, so now we know how to make raw biodiesel apparently, and we know how to do stonework. <laughs> okay, so that's something. So that's how we're going to get books. So we're going to want to look out for any books we can find basically at this point. This weapon is on its way out we've got a tiny tiny bit left so we're going to start using the katana probably pretty soon right we've got a zombie there i'm also going to want to start ripping the clothing up for all these zombies so let's quickly do that for some of these along the way right so let's get rid of you quickly oh and instantly it broke but we did get that so we can remove the cover from it herbalism book is that the one we needed no that's still quite cool though Get the katana. So that's push up to one of these houses. We're probably going to have to stay the night in another one because it's already getting quite late. I think we should push up to... I think the police station might be the safest option. There are bedrooms in there. I don't even know if it's a police station. It's a weird building, which from my experience has like a couple of armories in it, but it also has a load of rooms, like bedrooms and stuff. So I'm not quite sure what it's meant to be, but it's quite a cool little building. Let's push up and go down here, I think. We could check out the grocers, see what's in there. Okay, we've got a couple there. Grabber, Fat Z. The grabber. Another zombie. What are you? Fat Z. Yeah, we're fine. Oh no, not a child Z. Instantly sad. <laughs> right, so that's the building I was talking about, the kind of police station styleness. That one's the survivor house. Um, and this is the food market. See if we can find anything useful in here. Got another book. Paper clips. Iron working. Ooh. Pickled eggplant. Taco sauce. Ooh, butter. Good, good, good. Sports drink. That's good because it's for endurance. Excellent. Cheese sauce and peaches. Sounds like there's something in the corridor out there. Ooh. Pickled ginger and canned soup. Nice. That's a lot of stuff. That should keep us going for a few days anyway. That's one building done. Oh, God. We got a brute and a wrestler. Just quickly check to make sure there's none behind here. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Right, we're not going to want to alert that brute because it's going to come running straight at us, which is going to be absolutely terrifying. Uh, what are you? Tough Z. Okay, we can take these ones out fine. Might have to get out of my gun to take out the brute. Can I aim from here? Probably not. 
quickly. Nice. Oh, that was close. Jesus, do not like those brutes. They are horrible, horrible, horrible. <laughs> nice. Another book. Pottery. Ooh. I'm going to take out this wrestler one. Quickly, quickly. Nice. Right. Are there any inside here? Uh. Yes. Jesus Christ. Where are all these coming from? I don't like this. Energy bar. I don't know what that is when I'm taking it. We've taken a house key already. And a bit of ammo. Trail mix. And a book. Hebrew textbook. Not the most useful during the zombie apocalypse, but hey-ho. Let's go up. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Sounds like there's quite a few in this building. Bit concerned. Uh, dismantle the camera, grab the maggot just in case. There's one. That jar of apple sauce. Nice. At least one in here. There's one there. Nothing in there anyway. Okay, we're doing all right. It only sounds like there's two or three left. Get the hunting knife. Oh, skeleton feral. Jesus. Hopefully we can get it before it notices us. Jesus. Oh, God, that was close. Oh, my God, loads of ammo. Hello. Uh, we'll take that pistol as well. I don't think we need it, but sure. Can we just eat the jar of pickled egg plant? And we got a jar with lid back. Nice. Okay, that can be useful later on. Right. I can only hear one. I think we should go up one more floor. Okay, I think what we're going to do, because it's getting late, is we'll go to sleep in this bedroom. I can only really hear one banging now. Should be fine. Right, six in the morning. Still fine. Super glue. Nice. Still fine. Still fine. Definitely something behind that door. Ooh, chewing gum. Good. I still can shut these watches just for the electrical XP. Must be near the up now, surely. Okay, nearly there. Razor. Can we do anything with a razor? Remove the blade. What can we do with that then? Improvised scalpel. Oh, okay. Might keep that then. Right, we've only got like one more floor, I think. Go up and check it out. Two over there. One there. They haven't noticed us. Quickly get in here. Metal detector. That's an amazing find. Um, I don't know what we do with that. We loot it. How heavy is it? We can take it. Masking tape. This is all useful stuff. I'm not sure if this is the top floor. No, it's not. There's another floor. We should definitely take these two out, though. Nothing in here. Still lots of banging. <laughs> Just terrifying how close it sounds. Energy drink. Uh, deconstruct the telly. Okay, small bag of trash. Speed loader. I'll take the speed loader. What's in there? Headphones. Dismantle the headphones. I reckon the others are on the top floor. I think he's in here. Yeah, there he is. Come on, come out. Wood glue. Amazing. Binoculars. I think we've already got some, but I will take them anyway. Melted popsicle. I will take the melted great popsicle. Box 17. Oh, it's awful. Take the worm. Pink lemonade. Definitely in here somewhere. Good. Ooh, silence. Lovely, lovely silence for the first time. Right, I believe this is it. And do that with the key. Solvent trap? Oh, okay, fine. Like, suppressor type thing. Good. Okay, that's useful. Oh, look at that. Box of rounds. We get a nice rifle. We get a suppressor for a rifle. And we get a suppressor for a shotgun. And we get a medium canister with how much ammo? <laughs> look at all that. What am I meant to do with all that? That's crazy. Don't even have a gun that's 5.56. Uh, I might just have to leave that here, to be honest. I think we're going to have to take this, surely. Grab it out. Equip the silencer. Right, okay. 
That's us done with this building. Amazing. We need to get out of here before we die of boredom, apparently. Honestly, though, I think the biggest find is the fact that we found that metal detector. Because using a metal detector, we can do so much stuff. We need to put a battery in it. But once we do that, I don't think we need to read a book or anything. And we can use it to scavenge for materials. So really, really pleased we found that. That's amazing. Right. We're going to have to just be extra cautious in case other zombies have drifted round. We need to get in here. Start unbarricading. Remove the broken glass. Jesus. What the hell are you? Just a normal zombie. That wasn't fun. That wasn't nice at all. How many? Oh, God, there's wrestlers there. There's all sorts. We'll take these ones out just to make sure that this place is safe. And they're not going to drift. Oh, God. Okay, that was more than I expected. Uh, saw, just in case I can do anything interesting with a spare. I think we've already got a spare, but it'd be nice to have a spare spare. Jesus. Masters, what the hell do you do? Okay, I'm, um... All right, we're going to study whatever the hell this thing is. Hang on, that was that was a normal zombie. I swear that just said it was a normal zombie. That was really bizarre. Like, I'm 99% certain that said when it jumped out the window. Is that what Master Z's do? Can they change them? Oh, I don't like that if that's the case. Uh, we're going to have to study that a bit further because that's, that's weird. God, can it turn it to anything? Can it turn it to a feral? if it can that's awful <laughs> yeah we're gonna have to watch out for those master z's then see if we can study them a bit further later down the line another master z's over there okay well i think we're gonna have to experiment with that next episode we know he's there i think what i'm gonna do now actually quickly before the end of the episode is i'm gonna rip up all the clothing here it should be good and then i think next episode what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on checking out that master z we'll do a little bit of crafting hopefully with the metal detector we can do quite a lot of stuff which will be good and we'll see how it goes Audio log four, just gone 2200 hours, date 16th of the 7th, 03. I'm starting to get used to my situation, as such I've started to make myself at home. I've settled into the base now, although I'm not sure how long I'm to stay here. As such, I'll try and set up a rudimentary base with decent supplies and workstations. This may take a while to set up, but I think my mission is far from over. I have had little chance to go through more of Joseph Colville's notes, but from what I have read, it seems to hint at other survivors Joseph used as assistance and also as protection against the hordes. There is very little details about these individuals, but I'll try and find out more in later journal entries. In terms of variants, there have been a few interesting developments. Firstly, feral zombies and brutes are by far the most dangerous variants I have encountered so far. Ferals especially seem extremely ferocious, especially in their skeletal form. I have confirmed that there is a variant which shrieks when it senses prey to alert others of its kind. I'm not sure how far this sound travels. I'm guessing pretty far from how loud it was. I will call this variant a shrieker zombie. I may have also encountered another variant coming out of an old survivor base. It seems more human than other variants I've encountered, with something off about it. It may have been a trick of the light, but I swear other zombies in its vicinity actually changed its behavior and its appearance. This seems too absurd to possibly be true, and I will put it down to lack of sleep for now. Child zombies are really getting to me. Well, that's all for now. I need my sleep. Please let my family know that I'm doing okay. I miss them dearly. Al Sullivan, signing off. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked Wissim, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons. Pet, Clint, David, Aaron, Mikhail, Rai, Kylara, Len, Andrew, Alex, MBXX, Lormy Lord, TKLs, Natural Cheese, Mikey, Soundcloud, King of Thorns, Plasco, Cordova, Manlock, Carl, and Maylene. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are just amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me on the channel. It means the world. Thank you so much. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. Bye-bye.